Hello. I wanted to tell you about an encounter I had with God. We're in lockdown at the moment. My husband and I are shielding in the house. We've been like this for the last nine weeks. So my husband has a medical condition. We can't go out at all. I was very worried at the start because it seemed to be impossible to get delivery slots. My husband was yet not yet on the supermarket vulnerable list and not, nothing was available. So we've been rationing our food ju uh, just a bit. It was the um, Tuesday and I looked on the internet and I saw that one of the supermarkets was doing boxes of essentials. You wouldn't know what you were going to get. Um, it would be potluck. The value was about £40 but it would feed people for supposedly five days. So I thought, well, I'll order one of these so that I have something just in case. So we just just see what happens. So the day came it was due to be delivered and we waited and waited. We stayed up till late because it was any time delivery and it was 10 o'clock at night and still it hadn't come. So we went to bed and I found myself laying awake, laying awake, 2 a.m. in the morning, worrying. Worrying because although I'd got food, I was worried about the future. I could eat for the next few days, but how would we get supplies after that? So I lay awake worrying, and as I lay there, I felt this most amazing sense of peace come over me. It was as if God was speaking audibly in my ear and saying to me, do not worry, do not worry. The birds don't worry. I feed the birds. I remembered there was a natural scripture about this. I'm not a theologian, so I would have to look this up. But I remembered it and I felt a, an immense sense of peace and it was a, a do not worry sense of peace. I fell asleep almost immediately. The next morning when I got up, I decided to Google, feed the birds, do not worry, and see what popped up. And it was a lovely reading from Matthew and I'm just going to read it to you now. And let me just find it here. Here we are. And it starts, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat and drink. There you are. About your body, what will you wear? Is life not more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not, not much more valuable than them? How can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall I eat? Or what shall I drink? Or what shall I wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Well, I think those verses must have been just for me. God telling me, do not worry, trust in me, I will provide. The next day, the, there was still no box and I emailed, so I emailed the supermarket. I didn't feel any sense of worry, none at all. We still had just enough for our needs, we could manage. So then later that day, a message came to say the box would be delivered the next day. I was relieved, really relieved. So next day, later that day, gee, the box turned up. Oh, lovely, amazing. It was full of lovely things, meat, vegetables, fruit, essentials, and it, this would feed us for quite a few days. And I felt I, I should have trusted in you, God. I should have trusted in you to make provision for me. Strangely, the next day, after the box had arrived, the bell rang again. I went to the door, and already the driver was driving away. And there on the doorstep was an identical box. I brought it inside, 
and opened it. It was another box of essentials. I hadn't ordered it. It was another box. I couldn't make this out. I just couldn't make this out. It was absolutely impossible to contact the supermarket. They were not taking any calls um, by telephone at all. So I tried emailing again. I couldn't get through to them. So I thought, well, OK, I'll open up the box and have a look. And maybe I could share it, share it with others down the road. People down the road have been helping with posting letters for me and things like that. So maybe I could share it to someone else in need in the road. So we have a support group in our area and our road is a, a group on its own. So I messaged the road, it's about 120 houses in the road, and said, would anyone like to share this with us? Much later that day, a lovely young lady came back to me and said, oh, thank you, if you've got some excess things, that would really be lovely for us. Thank you so much. So I, so I put some things into the box, shared, shared you know, what we, what we um, couldn't use or didn't need, and put the box on the doorstep, and our husband came along and collected it. Lovely, she was so pleased, so overwhelmed by it. And she said um, in a message to me, a text message to me, you cannot know how much that helped us. She said, I'm an A&E doctor in a big London teaching hospital. My husband um, is a civil servant, we've got three children, and we're just really struggling to get food at the moment. The, the time spent queuing and managing to get enough to feed us, so this has been such a help to us. I felt so pleased that God had sent me this, this way of blessing somebody. You won't believe this, but the next day, the Saturday, another ring at the bell, another thump, the sound of a van driving off, and a third identical box was on the doorstep. This was getting embarrassing and ridiculous. We brought the box in and I said to my husband, well, let's just offer it directly to this family. So I messaged again and she said, oh, I, I, thank you, thank you, thank you. It would be such a help to us. It would mean we don't have to go to the supermarket for a couple of weeks. I've got freezer space. I can store the meat. Thank you so much. You don't know how much it's helping us. So the husband came along but this time, she had said to me in advance, take out anything that is nice and lovely and keep that for yourself. And you know, that made me even more determined not to do it, but to leave the box completely sealed, unopened, and give it to her in an entirety. And not only that, to put a few extra things in a bag that I thought the children might like to add to it. She would never know it hadn't come with the box, but I would just add that to it. And I put a little note in saying, saying to her we've been praying hard praying very hard and this was God's blessing that we were able to bless you with this, these groceries I didn't know anything about her she was a new neighbor she had not been moved in long six doors down I'd never met her they came and took the box and later on they sent a message to us and they said and I'll read it to you here it said we are also Christian. Strange and unexpected blessings seem to have occurred to us recent occurred for us recently when we've least expected it. And this is one of them. And I think this has been for me an encounter with God where he said to me, Do not worry, I will provide for you, trust in me, trust in me. And then in doing that he's blessed us over and over again and blessed us to be able to share to another family in need. And it was just such a wonderful experience for us. Such a wonderful experience.